What is going on, people of the internet? It's your friendly neighborhood devil man here, bringing you some DC Universe Online gameplay. Today I realized that my subscription for DC Universe Online uh, has expired. Unfortunately, I don't have the PSN funds to keep playing it. Uh, I can play in a free-to-play mode, but I just choose not to. So instead, I decided to make a couple alternate characters, and on doing so I realized there is a lot of feats that you can get right off the bat. Now, those new to DC Universe Online should know that feats are basically the way to improve your character where gear doesn't fall in. You only go out to level 30, and feats kind of push you past that level 30 barrier. Now, feats are arranged in three difficulties. Uh, one star, two star, three star. And by completing these feats, the one star gets you 10 feet points, the two star gets you 25, and the three star gets you 50. Every time you get 100 feet points, you get a skill point, which you can use to add uh, to your innates or your weapon statistics to get different moves or just uh, uh, movement types. You medium for movement types. Now, when you first make a character, you want to wait until you get to this room here, the trash, whatever, the receptacle room. And there's going to be a bunch of enemies. You're going to want to fight them. And this is where you can start your feet hunting. Um, and you see right there, I broke five red barrels and I get 10 feet points. Now, as soon as you're done beating up all the bad guys in here, I caught another group will spawn, you beat them up, and then you can go around the room and blow up as many red barrels as you want. There's also an orange barrel in here, and like I said, they keep respawning, and the feats are um, blow up five red barrels, I think one's 25, and another one's 100, and then I think the next one after 100 is 1,000. Now you don't have to stay in here for the full 1,000, but I recommend you at least get the 25, or maybe even the 100. Usually I stay for the 100. Now, as I said before, uh, you're basically just going to go around the room, smash all these barrels, and you're just going to keep doing circles. You can go counterclockwise, clockwise, it doesn't matter. Uh, check the pit every once in a while, there'll be a red barrel in there that falls in. Um, you can also blow up the orange barrel. There's only one in here, but it still counts towards the feat of blowing up orange barrels. Um, and like, I think the room directly after this is the one two after this there's like five or six red barrels in here that'll or orange barrels that will uh give you a different feat um I, I don't know i'm just gonna say this right off the bat i don't know how many feet points you can get by doing this i say this because um i used to make alt a lot i'm an altaholic I, I i make an alt i'll play it until like level nine and then i'll delete it i just won't care because i'm weird that way so i've done this whole uh, escape from the Brainiac ship probably about 50 times and 50 times each time is different sometimes I'll walk out of the Brainiac ship with a total of six skill points sometimes I'll come out with eight but the most important thing to do is just uh, keep trying uh, know what feet points you want and just uh, just take the time and get them right there I just broke 25 I got another 10 points um, I'm unsure at this point uh, what my skill points are actually. Um, once you make it to this room with the little breakout ball there, um, you definitely want to stay until you get your breakout feet. I think it's called jailbait or something like that. Um, here I made the mistake. I'm just going to let you know. If you see this bubble up, just keep hitting it. Don't block because it won't pop. It's just weird like, like that. It's just weird. This room is the most important room because right after you pop this, they'll try to teach you the uh, the weapon mechanics, the PvP, the rock, paper, scissor mechanics. Uh, what is it? Block, breaker, beats, block. Um, and the first one will have you block the enemies. The second one will have you lunge at enemies. And this is the important one. When you get to this one where you're supposed to lunge at enemies, just keep tapping your triangle button. As you see right here, I got to 25, and you can see the hit counter going off in the top. Um, you can get your 25, your 50, and your 100 feet. It just takes time, and you don't have to worry about getting hurt, because it only does one damage to you, but you have, like, I think you start off with, like, 300 health points, something like that. So, no matter what, you could take as long as you want to do this. He, that dude's not going to kill you. And even if it is, you've got a potion or a soda cola, and you should be able to do it. And here, I got my 100. This is the easiest way I know to get your 100 hit combo because I don't know of any other way to do it unless it's find a guy with a shield or you have somebody helping you out with duels or something. Uh, I just don't know. Um, it, it's, it's 
the, honestly get that hundred feet one that's the most important one because that's the one you'll probably never get um, lastly that thanks to replay badges you probably don't even need to do any of this if you don't want to do it as long as you did it with one character you can do it with it all and as you see here I bring up the menu and, and you can see how many replay badges I got and uh, how much each one costs to do I think uh, most of them cost one replay badge to get and the others cost more Anyways, I hope you guys liked this video. I hope you learned a little something. And please leave a like, comment, uh, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.